Hello there, my name is Harry, bringing you another TF2 gameplay commentary. We'll be playing some Demo Man here on CP Steel, a map I haven't played in absolute ages. It's a good map, it's, it's never been my favorite map. It's, it's confusing as hell when you first play it. I remember when I was a, you know, a newbie player joining TF2, just like looking at random servers, I just click them, because I'm like, yeah, server, why not? You have an interesting name, it's like XXX Clan. I'm like, sure, let's do this server room. And then Steel, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, since when do my control points have little, uh, like, little things on them? And then what's the star mean? I, it takes, it, I mean, it's, some of it's pretty intuitive. It's like, okay, so if they cap the star, they win, right? And then if they have a, if they have a lock on it, it's like, okay, so that doesn't work. And then they have all these labels on them. Like, what is this? Dock, select, door, main? What is, what, what is that stuff? It's, 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 it's so weird when you're first trying out. I can remember, remember my mind being absolutely boggled and then just hating the map because of that. Because when you, if you're, if you're confused about something and you don't like it, then it's pretty much, like, it's over. You know, you're not going to be able to enjoy yourself nearly as much. Some games, you know, the confusion is half the fun. TF2 is not the case. You want to know what's going on so you can focus on the, you know, high-octane, sweet FPS teamwork action, which, as much as that may sound facetious, is actually totally true. This game is filled with high-octane, sweet FPS teamwork action of the whole time. So, anyway, I'm playing Doman here. We're on defense, and we have a crit screen, which is going to be great. Going to get some sweet crits off. It's incredibly powerful, especially on these maps where, you know, they, they have, like, two points of attacks. I can see both of their spawn doors from where I stand. There's so few maps that do that. This one map that gets away with it because, you know, they have that ability to run in Cappy and then take some of your people away. Like, it's great. You can literally just kill some of the people on the other team because they have to go to the other point to deal with your scout that's just sticking around on there knowing he's not going to cap, but just by doing so, manages to kill two people on the other team, which might be more than you might be able to kill otherwise you know these scouts are so horrifically ineffective on this map that's my one complaint scout on this map serves one purpose only which is to go and stand on e for a while if you're having trouble capping a point like other than that they're so this is so hard for scouts to do anything and so like this area this area right here is so bad for scout there's so few places to maneuver there's so many people up here on the point because they're going on the point so you can see you coming around this bend just destroy you and like what are you going to do hide behind the rock for a while before getting you know hit by a random demo pipe but anyway so they're pushing in, and this is still an interesting map, because this is one of those maps where you can totally get that horrifically imbalanced game, which it actually looks like this is going to turn into. It's very weird. If I'm, if I'm recording something for commentary, it creates a really weird dynamic where I really want to win, and oh wait, just kidding, here's a crit. So boom, 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 everyone explodes, see some dudes, and then make them explode, and yeah, bro, crits is so much fun. I love it. I love one of my favorite things in TF2 that makes you feel so, so good is you look up in the top right, and it's all white. It's all that off-white color. You're like, yeah, that's all me, baby, and then you get killed. It's still off-white, so it still kind of makes you feel happy, but yeah, it's just, you're like, yep, I'm, I'm the only man that's killed anybody in these past couple of seconds, and I have killed a lot of people. People, and it's wonderful but anyway so it creates an interesting dynamic when I'm recording and I'm playing a match where like I, I kind of want to lose a little like it looks like when I'm gonna when we're coming to the end here it's gonna look like that they're gonna we're gonna just gonna destroy them we get to like 30 seconds left and then like we're still winning like well I mean this I, I kind of want them to take this point because I want to get a good commentary off it's not that fun if they just get smashed you use all you lose all that dramatic tension or something like that I don't know but it, it's, it's less interesting watching someone just get absolutely destroyed but eventually they do pull it around, which is, you know, very nice. As you can see here, I've cut out a couple of lives because, of course, when they finally got their shit together and took the point, that meant that I was running out there and then dying and getting, like, zero kills every time. So, you know, it wasn't, didn't make for a very good video anyway. But anyway, so they, they did manage to take A, so it, gave me a, it made me a little bit happier. It was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to put this in because those were some sweet critses, wasn't it? That was one sweet crits, wasn't it? Yeah, I got, like, four whole kills. It was crazy. But anyway, so I see a sentry over there, so I'm going to be wary about that corner. Sentries are really annoying for that, because, you know, like, when you know one's around a corner, and you just kind of have to maneuver yourself, finagle it, so you might pop out once and then go back, and then this hill, I don't, I, there's some, I, this, I, I can't deal with this, this ramp here. And then, whoa, this is one of my favorite parts of the whole video, is I get launched back here, and nobody knows me. You know, TF2 has some ridiculous physics sometimes with their launch, and then I'm just, you know, I'm behind, I can throw pipes to them, and nothing happens, and this heavy doesn't see me, and I totally would, if it wasn't for that meddling kid behind me, I totally would have gotten that, uh, that sticky bomb kill after the Uber. Again, one of my favorite things to do while playing Demo Man is you put the sticky bombs at the feet of the Uber, wait for them to un-Uber, and then blow, up, blow them up. Which, also, is tied to one of my other favorite things in the game, is that when you're just starting out playing this game, and you play the game for a while, and you're not really sure what you're doing, and so part of it, part of the way you get better, right? So you, you want to get better at the game, so you're playing the game. You do, you do slowly get better at the game, because it's almost impossible to not get better at the game because of this thing where, I, I, first, you know, your Twitch reflexes go better, you start controlling the mouse and strafing better, your movement just in your aim just become better, it's just what happens. But also, you can, you watch other what other people do and you see their strategies, like, I didn't think of that by myself, the down with Sticky Bomb's like, oh, I bet if I stick, put Stiggies on their feet, you know, they're not gonna deal with them right away, and then when the Uber's over, assuming I'm still alive, I can get rid of the heavy and medic, 
and then my team will, you know, if since we survived the Uber, will be fine from there. And also, just sometimes, sometimes you just gotta hide. It's just a good idea to hide. It's it's totally it's it's a little bit less manly. You lose a couple man points, but you survive, so that's worth it. I, I'm I'm willing to be a little less manly if it means I'm still alive. But anyway, so yeah, and then you you can watch what other people do. Is especially what I've noticed with engineer is that like when you first start out, you try to play engineer like is this a good spot for a century? I guess I'll put one here. It looks okay, and then it gets destroyed in two seconds. You know, then you watch what other people do. You see, I'm like I remember the first time I saw an engineer who put his back to a dispenser so he couldn't get backstabbed, and then whoa, century where that come from anyway but so the first time I saw an engineer put his back to his fence so he couldn't get back so I was like wow you know you I like you man you're pretty good like this is these are smart things so you go around and you get to pick up on all these things that other people do and it's really cool it's it's your own like personal metagame of sorts like you just watch people doing things and then it just it, you add it to your own gameplay and that's that's like it's like 50 50 honestly for me between like me just playing and figuring things out and just watching other people do stuff and figuring that out especially with like you know, rocket jumping, like, sometimes you don't know if, sometimes there'll be a ledge somewhere, like, can I stand on that? And then you'll see someone rocket jump up there, like, well, I guess I can. So then next time you want to get some ridiculous high ground, you rocket jump up under that ledge and just rain death upon from the heavens. And also, on Steel, a common trap that I, that I really, really fell in when I first started playing this map, again, when I, this was when I was a total noob, is that the moment I would see someone on E, I'd, like, rush to it. Which is, normally, you know, sometimes you just gotta trust in your team, because a lot, a lot of, a lot of things... And a lot of games are revolve around uh, confidence. This is something that I've noticed a lot of us, especially playing sports, is that when you're confident in yourself, then you can take more risks, and then so you can, you know, do more good stuff. You do take more risks, more calculated risks, and so you can get high rewards and play better. And so I'm confident in my team that we can, you know, get the stupid soldier or demo man off point E. So, you know, I can stay here and protect C, which will cause us to will help us win the round, which we just did there. And anyway, this is, this is a weird, like, introspective commentary. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You know, my name's Aria, and uh, goodbye.